blooming Christmas here again. Raymond Briggs rarely gives interviews and admits to being a little bit grumpy himself. Happy blooming Christmas to you too. So, rather tentatively, I asked him whether he ever gets fed up with being so closely tied to the gloriously bad-tempered Santa he created over 30 years ago. <laughs> no, I'm, I don't think I'm tied to Christmas. And some of the books I've done are associated with Christmas. Uh, Father Christmas, obviously, and The Snowman, of which in the book I don't think there's any mention of Christmas. But the film brought Christmas in. So have you got a favourite between those two books, Snowman and Father Christmas? I like The Father Christmas because it's very closely based on my mum and dad's home, the kitchen and everything, and the fact that he goes out delivering like my dad does, did, uh, in the cold and on his own. So I've got an affection for it for that. When you think of Father Christmas, you, you took a, a stereotype and then turned him into a, a, a real person. In a way, that was a pioneering sort of book, wasn't it? A lot of my things have this thing of fungus, bogeyman and Father Christmas and they all start with the idea of having something utterly fantastical, like a bogeyman, like Father Christmas, uh, and yet then assuming they are totally real. Father Christmas, let's say Father Christmas exists. What do we know about him? He, he, he's old, we know he's fat, we know he's been doing it for donkey's years. He must be fed up with it. <laughs> Appalling job, <laughs> going round the freezing cold at night, going down chimneys, for God's sake, filthy, sooty, mucky thing, all alone, all night long. I mean, you can't think of a worse job. So he's bound to be immensely grumpy and very glad to get home again. Thinking of The Snowman, in a way, it's a very intimate book, isn't it? I... I mean, this is a boy who, you know, I think in a way is in love, isn't he? This is a moment of great emotion he has for this... For the for figure this, of man, the man, yes. ..that he's made. Yes. Yes, that's true. And I, somebody else pointed out that it's about death, really. Never occurred to me, but several critically people have said that because the snowman dies. And I did it a few years after my wife died, so there may be something in that. I didn't think of that at the time. Again, it was just being logical. A snowman exists, and let's assume he can fly because snow comes down out of the sky, so it's not a great stretch of imagination. Imagine him going back up in the sky again. And then in the end, he's got to melt and die, as we all have. Would you mind, you think, being remembered for just Father Christmas and the snowman? Is that great a little bit with you because oh, after no. all you've created so many wonderful No, no, wonderful I don't books. mind that at all. It's a great compliment that anyone remembers the stuff at all. Um, the thing I wanted on my gravestone is a thing our, my partner's granddaughter said at lunch one day, a bit of a silence fell on the lunch, when she was three years, six months old, looked across in the silence at me and said, Raymond is not a normal person, <laughs> which I thought was brilliant. <laughs> Best compliment I've ever had. Brilliant. <laughs>